So hello my dear brothers, and you know guys that today we will play as the Ottoman Empire. It's obviously, but today we will do scene that we can't pronounce in the modern day Turkey, right? We will do liberalization of the Ottoman Empire. So I can agree with you that Atatürk is some kind of the liberalizator too, but it's not the full liberalization of the Ottoman Empire, because he built his cult of personality, he established the authoritarian regime, so on, so it's not the full liberalization, but we, with these social liberals and market liberals, we will fully liberalize Ottoman Empire in today's campaign. And without further ado, let's start our campaign, and as always, Enjoy! To prevent questions about my voice, what the fuck is happening with my voice? I've just woke up like 30 minutes ago, so it will change in a few hours. Maybe you will hear it even in this video. To understand, right now it's like 7 am. Good morning! Well, 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 good old Ottoman boy, the Ottoman Empire before the world crack. Nah, I don't want to read about Ottoman Empire, because right now it's 8 a.m. and just please. I want to skip it, I want to skip it, just let me play already. We don't need to read this boring explanation by the Kaiser Redux developers, cause I can explain to you everything and about Ottoman Empire too. So after World Crack, Ottoman Empire has gained a few territories, uh, such as uh, Mustafa Riyad of Jerusalem, they have gained back Cyprus, a part of Libya from Italians and some colonies in the Persian Gulf too. Oh, and yeah, don't forget about uh, Transcaucasian territories, so they took Batum, and Armenia is the puppet of our regime. And yeah, outside everything looks pretty good, Ottoman Empire has expanded, we have united, we have our own puppets, so everything is good, yeah, but uh, it's not. So after World Crack, Ottoman Empire has did like almost nothing, yeah, thanks to the OHF, Ottoman Empire with Atatürk has made some reforms. That's pretty good, yeah, but they didn't do as much as it needed to be done. We will have a lot of problems and probably Ottoman Empire will collapse. So, Sublime Ottoman Federation or Sublime, it's the only one real way to save the Ottoman Empire like the Nubian Federation for the Austrian Empire. So, you see that Austrian Empire and Ottoman Empire have like pretty similar fate and history. Guys, this is the true explanation of the Ottoman economy, just look at it. The Ottoman economy in 1936, aftermath of infamous decade, grand plans but little resources. To understand, it's year 1936 and we didn't have any industrialization at all inside of the Ottoman Empire, so we are unindustrialized nation, a great unindustrialized nation. That's so horrible that you can't even imagine. Now I'll answer the last question and it's going to be how will we bring the liberals to the power in the Ottoman Empire? So we will have elections in the year 1936 because we will block all the reforms of Fatih Turk and after that we will have elections, split elections or how we call it in English, I don't know. Just block all reforms of OHF and Natatürk and you will receive this event about elections in year 1936. And after searching all of these focuses, we will receive some interesting events. Women's rights? Hell no, man, the place of the woman is subservient to that of the man. And of course, in the question of the new Grand Wazir, we won't uh, appoint the IHF candidate we will call for early elections, for early free elections. Because we need to prove that Ottoman Empire is free country with a free elections. 
Finally, in the late May 1936, we received the event about the elections of 1936, and we have two options, OHF or the Liberal Entente, and of course the Liberal Entente regains the majority. And now we have fully changed our focus through line, as you can see, so now we've got another decisions because our last focus through line was dedicated to the Ataturk and his OHF party but now we have the liberal entente focus through line or how will we call it I don't know anyway now we just need to do something with import tariffs and also we will start soon to search the grand wizir sabatin sabahatin focus through line because it's truly important for us but first, let's start with the import tariffs. Our main goal to now is just do something before the year 1939, before we start our war with the key rexes. So we have two and a half years to develop our empire, to liberalize it and to make everything inside it even better, so we can halt this war and then push back our um, enemies. Yeah, enemies. 31st of May 1936, Sultan Abdul Majid II appoints the new Grand Wazir, Prince Sabatin. Now we have some kind of parliament with different coalitions, with different parties, and that's interesting. And now I'll show you all reforms that we will do to liberalize our empire. First of all, we broke up state monopolies. Our next goal and mission is going to be encourage private initiative. And the ever seen all that has left right here. We just need to rebuild the whole system and we are doing it right now. As you can see, not all decisions are supported by some uh, political movements, but do we give a fuck about that? In some point, yes, but for truly, no. Revision of the Ottoman Civil Code. And I support the liberals for real, because all groups should be tried according to their own customs and traditions. Because, you know, Orthodox should be judged by their laws, traditional Muslims by their laws, other people by their laws. We support each system in our country, because we are multinational, multicultural and multi-religion state. So we need to unite people and not to divide them. Well, since for IH have gone pretty bad because now we have the conservative Grand Wazir because we did everything that we needed and the result of it is that we lost all support in our parliament as you can see and I couldn't even receive any support from the conservatives, I just didn't have the option. What about Arab nationalists? We had fully support from them, but you know the scene was pretty bad because I couldn't lie with the Turkish nationalists and independents, so yeah. But I hope that in elections of year 1979 we will re-elect IHF back and we will continue our reforms. At least I hope for that. Camel wrestling for the air forces. May the best camel win. We all love camels, especially in the Ottoman Empire. Even without this focus through line we have things to do because now we need to go further by this focus through line and we need to improve the Ottoman army. Well, I forgot about Bulgaria, but we have received option to demand Western phrase, so let's do it. Sorry, Bruda, but it's my territory. Holy fucking shit, what the fuck is that? Egypt has gone too far away from reality. Well... Well, I didn't get that moment, but at the one time we have annexed Armenia somehow. I don't know how did it happen, but actually I'm glad that it has happened. But I guess they will price anyway, so we will do something with that. December 1938, KRXS has officially started the war against me. Now we will hold our front line by this area and after stabilization of the front line we will start our own counter-offense. By the middle of January 1939 you can see the list of countries that now we are fighting against. So the front line has stabilized and now we can start to make our plans for the great counter-offense. February 1939 Tbilisi has fall. Late February 1939, Georgia has capitulated. 
easy for us and, and put that upper belt, put that upper belt. And of course we are going to liberate Georgia. And as you can see our offense is going pretty successfully. And as you can see warm tactic works pretty good as always, because we have pushed Persian and Arabic forces far away from their positions a few days ago. Good news, April 1939 Armenia is encircled from the Persian help and now it's gonna be pretty easy to destroy them. And one Persian division too. Sorry, even three Persian divisions. Our next great breakthrough was made in Palestine. Now you can see that a few divisions of the Kyrex are encircled near Damascus. We just need to destroy them. And our next stop is going to be Alexandria. Egypt and Syria has capitulated. Now we're going to take their lands. Syria will be integrated. What about Egypt? We will liberate them as our puppet. And the next day, Sultanate of Najd or Saudi Arabia has capitulated too. Minus Iran and Armenia. And the final one, boo, has capitulated. So we are going to annex Yemen. And guys, I will use help of Allah to make, mm, you know, some free and fair elections. So we will elect Hif again. I'll just write Central in party because elections were postponed to year 1943 and I just don't want to wait three years just to elect party that I need, so I'll put it that by the comment. Well, even if I did that, yep, I said ruling party as the social liberals, we still got that fucking problem. You see that house support didn't change at all. We still can't fix the problem of the support of the conservatives and independent parties. But let's just imagine that we have fully pushed the reforms. And now we have not the Ottoman Empire, but the Sublime Ottoman Federation.